These bold colors and grids are the hallmark of artist Piet Mondrian. But the same artist, still known today for his instantly recognizable patterns, started out painting these. This summer, an exhibit at the Gamente Museum in The Hague traces Mondrian's path from that to this. Benno Temple, the museum's director, explains. So in the Netherlands, there has always been a very strong tradition in landscape painting, dating back from the 17th century. And it was almost a golden rule. The horizon was low, so you had one third of the painting being a landscape and two thirds of the painting being sky with the famous Dutch clouds. But even in his early career, Mondrian is ready to break the rules. He has his early painting around 1900, a ditch by a farm, a landscape with the horizon very high, so there's almost no sky. And there is a tree standing in the foreground of the painting, dividing the painting into, you could almost say, squares and lines. In 1911, Mondrian moves to Paris, where the Cubist painters Georges Braque and Pablo Picasso influenced Mondrian to experiment with increasingly abstract styles. In 1915, Mondrian returns to the Netherlands and joins the Laren artist colony, where he befriends two artists who push him even further toward abstraction. Together, these three participate in the founding of the De Steel movement. Like many artistic movements at the time, this group tried to make a definite break from the past. No more Dutch clouds and windmills for these guys. Mondrian calls his style at this time neoplasticism. Mondrian writes, This new plastic idea will ignore the particulars of appearance. On the contrary, it should find its expression in the abstraction of form and color, that is to say, in the straight line, in the clearly defined primary color. It all boils down to straight lines and primary colors, the signature Mondrian look you see in stores and on runways today. But despite how far Mondrian's style evolved from Dutch landscapes, it's still possible to see a connection to his early works. Although they're completely different, one is figurative, the other is abstract. You see that it's almost the same division of picture planes. And that's not done on purpose, it's done by intuition. 